hi guys welcome back to my channel it's vivian once again and um, in today's video i'm going to be telling you how to stop comparing yourself with other people if you're new to my channel you're most most definitely welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for sticking with me and if it's your first time stopping by thank you for stop in and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please do so by hitting on that subscribe button down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share this video to as many people as possible so today's video i'm going to be telling you how to stop comparing yourself with other people in today's world it's very easy to get carried away with with um what is going on around the world and around your life we all suffer from the syndrome of comparing ourselves um, self with other people but because it's normal it's normal to always compare yourself with other people so we're going to just be giving you um five tips on how to stop comparing yourself with other people and how to appreciate the little things you've done in life the little things you've achieved the little baby step you've achieved in life just decided to okay let me just come here and just tell you five tips on how I overcome comparison on how you should you can also stop comparing yourself to other people and number one point is i practice gratitude when i mean i always i am practice gratitude i started to um, appreciate life in general i started to appreciate those little things we take for granted yeah. so i started to appreciate the little things of life the little things uh, i was overlooking and looking at what other people have done i started appreciating those things so each day what I do is I take on my notepad and I start to write okay today I'm grateful for life today I'm grateful for health today I'm grateful for the food today I am grateful for um, uh, the roof over my head I'm grateful for family and the rest so those little things I tend to overlook before I started to appreciate it because we got, it was God that said when we appreciate the little things he has done for us, he's going to do more for us. So I started to appreciate those things that I tend to overlook because I wanted a better life. I'm not saying it is bad to or want a better life or it is bad to have a good life or it is, it is bad to always reach for something that you know that you deserve or you need. No, I'm not saying it's bad because caring because your life and someone else's life is not the same thing your life and my life can't be the same my journey and your journey can never be the same what got, got today i might get my own tomorrow so far i i started to appreciate life because once there's life there's always hope to have that thing which you have always wanted but if there's no life how are you going to achieve that thing how are you going to get that thing you said oh i want to get this i want to get that so i was I started to practice gratitude. I started practicing gratitude so that I will be able to appreciate the little things God have done for me. The little things which I said I neglected before, I started to appreciate it. So number one thing you need to do is have to start showing gratitude. You have to start practicing gratitude as a means. Then you see that you stop comparing yourself with other people. You tend to see that there are so many people you are better than. There are so many people in the hospital just wanting to be healthy but they don't have that there's so many people that are dead but you have the life so i started to see reasons why i have to be grateful why i have to be happy so that was my number one step of how i stopped comparing myself to other people okay number two way of how i overcome um comparison i started to be con uh, content with what i i have i started to be content with the kind of um life i am living i started to be content with the, with the kind of things i do and the rest i'm not saying you shouldn't wish to have a better car or a better house i'm not saying you shouldn't wish to have more but i'm trying to say that when you start being content with what you have you wouldn't be you wouldn't start to compare yourself with other people and you wouldn't start to get jealous because sometimes when you start to compare yourself with other people jealousy starts to get you understand you start to be jealous of what other people there's no how you know there's how you compare and compare it brings it, it, it brings the result of envy you start to envy oh she's better than me she's better than me or he's better than me so i start to do things i have achieved in my life and I'm not saying that being content doesn't mean that you shouldn't work hard to get more. You shouldn't work hard to get more money. You shouldn't work hard to get more hours. Or you shouldn't work hard to be in that. You shouldn't work hard to achieve your dream. I'm not saying such. I'm just trying to say that contentment makes you happy because when you are not content, it brings about greed. It brings about jealousy. It brings about 
envy but when you are content with what you have you start to be genuinely happy from within you start to appreciate the little things which you have you start to appreciate the little things you have achieved so two ways you can stop that can help you to stop comparing yourself with other people is to practice contentment being content with the kind of things you do hoping that you're going to get more you are going to achieve more so practice contentment and you see that your the comparison rates of which you compare yourself with other people will start to reduce number three i stop to come and compare myself with other people's highlight because most times when we go online we see a lot of good side of people they bring the best side of their life they bring the 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 merriments the enjoyment their latest cars their latest house what they've achieved achieved so i stop comparing myself with the highlights of people's life because nobody is going to bring out the bad side of their life to you on social media nobody is going to come out and tell you this is what they are struggling with nobody is going to come out and start crying to you so, so nobody is going to come and tell you that they are struggling with this kind of thing at this particular time nobody is going to come and tell you oh i haven't gotten this i haven't gotten that they will always bring the better part of their life to you online so i stop comparing myself with people's highlights i call it highlight because it's just part of their life they want me to see that is not all that is going on in their life it's just the highlights of what is going on in their life if i dress up now come out on the camera wear my makeup and start dancing start singing nobody is going to know i have my own struggle nobody is going to know that all oh, that things i'm going through people believe that she got a perfect life she got things going on for our well she got everything she got it this 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 that's the same way i stop to compare myself i start to say oh this girl is just showing us the path of her life she wants me to see she he is just showing me the part of his life he wants me to see nobody's going to bring their bad parts to you you only know when people's situation when they open their mouth and tell you this is what they are going through so i stopped to compare myself with people's highlights to people's um um, um and stop comparing myself to them things i see on social media i stop completely because i know that it's not all uh, it's not as rosy as it all seems online it's not as rosy as it all they all want us to see so when you stop comparing yourself with people's highlight you tend to see that you are not in the worst situation you are not going through the worst kind of um thing in life you are not going to the worst kind of situation in life so i start to compare myself with people's highlight before i start to celebrate other people it is always uh, like it is always easy to soak your pillow and start getting envious and start getting jealous of what other people has achieved for you to stop comparing yourself for you to be happy in life you have to celebrate other people's sources always come out and celebrate your your friends your family your foes celebrate everybody's happiness celebrate people's win because when your own time come people will tend to celebrate with you so learn how to celebrate other people's achievement learn how to be um, um celebrate people's sources so that you can like you can learn or you can go back home and say okay he has achieved this i would like to achieve what he has achieved not going back home and soaking your bed and start crying like oh oh, oh why, have I got, why have i not gotten this we are age mate and i've not gotten this we are age and we are, we are in the same level and i've not gotten this right this level i've not gotten this so always be genuinely happy for people always be genuinely happy happy genuinely for people be happy for people's success be happy for people's win and when you're happy for people yourself is going to come your own um your own success your own win is going to come don't go around and be jealous of what someone has achieved or so what someone if maybe one of your friends have gotten a big car a big house and you go back home and start soaking oh that my you know that my friend she has gotten the house oh we could be so much envy and jealousy so be genuinely happy for people celebrate people's success celebrate with your family celebrate with your friends celebrate with everybody around you so that yours is going to come and it's going to help you reduce the way you compare yourself with people and it's going to help you reduce jealousy and envy last but not the least is do not believe whatever you see on social media this is this um five point number five point is just as the same as number four um, three points i told you don't ever always believe people's i like just the same way i'm telling you do not believe whatever you see on social media people will come and show you the bad parts of their life people will not show you the ugly parts of their life 
People wouldn't show you the situation they are going through. They will always wear makeup and wear the best smile. So do not leave whatever you see on social media. Social media is more like a facade. You take what you want and keep the rest. You take it. I'm, I'm not going to say social media is bad. Social media has done more good than harm because it has made so many people who they are today. It has brought money. It has brought exposure. It has made so many people more learned. It has, social media has advanced the world. But Social media such as Instagram where people come out and show you their glamorous life and the rest. I would advise you to pick the one you need to pick. Pick the things you feel you need to learn off social media and drop the rest. Do not believe whatever you see on social media. Do not believe whatever people come out to say. There's so many things to learn online. There's so many things to learn on social media. There's so many things you can craft from social media. But don't take those ones which you feel they are important and drop the rest those ones that are going to give you negative mindset that are going to make you feel bad they are going to make you feel that you haven't done anything for yourself drop all those things once you read all those things just drop it off there and continue with your life work with your own pace go work with your own journey of life because my journey and your journey is not the same thing my life and your life is not the same thing where i'm going in life and where you are going in life can never be the same thing so stop comparing yourself with other people's success stop comparing yourself with other people's journey stop comparing yourself with where you, your friend is or you know what god is preparing for you and you don't know what god is avoiding for you these two things sometimes when we really want something so bad if we need to sit back and tell ourselves what what is god trying to avoid for us you don't know if god is preventing you from something it doesn't want you to be in before i end this video i would like to say in this last thing always work at your own pace always believe in your own journey believe in your struggle believe that you are going to achieve this particular thing don't always tell yourself oh i must achieve this thing like this and like this i must achieve this thing before the year runs out or this because when you tend to give yourself timing and you don't miss up to that time, you break down easily. You'll be like, I wanted to achieve this before the year runs out. I wanted to, and you didn't do it. So most times when you set goals, when you set things, always involve God in it. Because I'm going to tell you, God is a wonderful human being. He's the only one we can run to and he's going to answer us at the time of our need. So always involve God in whatever you do. Don't always believe you can do it alone. I'm going to tell you God is an everlasting God and I, when you serve God, serve him genuinely, serve him with all your heart and always pray whatever you want, always pray before you say something, pray, manifest this in your life and when you manifest things in your life, they tend to happen because you are speaking into your life, you are speaking into your existence. So I don't want to divert this topic, I just want to tell you to so always work at your own pace, work at your own, believe in your own journey, believe in your own struggle. Always celebrate your own little success and achievement. Celebrate your own small goals and your own milestone, the milestone you've achieved. Celebrate it, celebrate, be content with whatever you have. Don't always allow people to push you into doing things you don't want to do. Don't allow the world to rush you, believing you are, you are left behind. Nobody's going, don't let the world rush you. Everybody is still struggling. Everybody is still in a struggling stage. We only come out to tell you the better part of our lives. So don't let everybody feel that. Don't let the world feel they've left you behind and you aren't doing better for yourself. You are working, you're doing something. So far, you're not sleeping at home every day and you're doing something, you're trying this. A baby step always celebrate those baby steps those milestones you've achieved celebrate them be happy be genuinely happy for people believe in yourself believe you are going to do things and these things are going to work out for you so this is where i'm going to end this topic today if you enjoyed my video please give my video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to um, share this video to so many people around you that need to see this video i remain your dearest host vivian on until I come your way next time. This is me saying bye guys.